Yeah, welcome to Educational Hours Selaxi, and in today's lesson, we'll be looking at understanding graphs. Equations are used to describe the relationship between two quantities or variables. Organizing an equation into a table or a graph can help us to see how the variables are related. In the expression 2y plus 5, we can see that the value of the variable y affects the value of the expression. So that means that if we keep changing the value of y, the total value of the expression will continue to change. As you can see, when we drag this slider, you can see the value of the expressions will keep changing. Just like that. All right. What is the value of y that will make 2y plus 5 to be equal to 11? So in that case, when we subtract 5 from 11, we are going to have 6. So if 2y is equal to 6, that means that the value of y is going to give us 3. So the value of y here is going to be 3. So 3 is the correct answer. All right, let's continue. If an equation has two variables, let's say x and y, as you can see here, 2y plus 5 is equal to x plus y. The value of each equation depends on two variables, and that's x and y. When we change the value of y here, the value of the first expression changes. In the same vein, when we change the value of s here, the value of the expression here also changes, as you can see. So what value of x and y will make 2y plus 5 and x plus 5 equal? Now, we are going to drag the two sliders. So when, I drag, when y is 1, when y is 2, rather, this is a uh, this is this and when s is 2 it's not equal let's keep dragging the two of them see where the both of them are equal okay the length are equal the length of this and the length of that they are all equal so in this case you can see that when x is 4 and when y is 2 the two expressions are equal so in this case the value of y is 2 and the value of x is 4 and that is it Let's look at the explanation explanation so we can use when x is 2 and when y is 1 so still give us the same thing or when s is 4 and when y is 2 it's still the same thing so we can say that a solution to a two variable equation is a pair of values that makes the two equations true so there are a multiple solutions to the equation 2y plus 5 is equal to x plus 5. The two values that will satisfy the two expressions to make them true is limitless, provided that the value of x is twice the value of y. Multiple solutions can be displayed in a table of values. Each row in a table represents one solution pair of values. Select the table that represents the solution we found to 2y plus 5 is equal to x plus 5. So the solution here is that the value of x must be twice that of the value of y. And if you can see here, that is it. That's the table. The correct table is this one. Let's continue. So let's find another solution to this equation. So let's enter the value of x that makes this equation true when y is 4. So when y is 4, what will be the value of x? So when y is 4, the value of x here is going to be 8. And that's correct. So let's find another solution, this time for a specific value of x. So enter the value of y that makes the equation true when x is 10. So when x is 10, what will be the value of y that will make this equation true? When x is 10, so it simply means that when we take out 5 from both sides of the equation, we take out 5, so we have that 2y is equal to 10. So the value of y here is going to be 5, all right? So something is very spectacular here. The value of x is twice that of the value of y. So what is the total number of solutions to this equation? There are infinite many solutions. That's the correct. There are infinite many solutions. Any pair of values where x is twice y is a solution, just like I have said earlier. All right, so there are as many as 100,000 solutions and more counting. Okay, as many as 100,000 solutions fact is totally infinite this table will show you that okay so two variable equations can have infinitely many solutions the table helps us to organize multiple solutions but they get cumbersome when we want to see lots of solutions at once so 
we are going to look at a graphical representation of solutions of two variable equations. All right, so we can graph solutions to an equation to visualize the relationship between its variables. So graph lets us see many solutions at once and can help us better understand the relationship between the variables. That is graph. Graph is a visual representation of the solution of, the, of a two variable equation. Okay. Now, let's look at this simple line graph. Now, we find that 2y plus 5 is equal to x plus 5. We we'll start by representing a value of x in the number line and we we'll then call it the x axis. So, let's plot 4 on the x axis. So, 4 on the x axis will be here. Drag this to be here. That's 4 on the x axis. Okay? 2 on the y axis is going to be, we we'll drag this to point 2 on the y axis. See? Okay, let's go ahead. So, now if we bring both the x and the y axis together, okay, the point of intersection of the two axes, s and y, we call it the origin or the zero point or the starting point. All right. So, the result of the coming together of the x and the y axis is called the coordinate plane. All right. Now, we are going to plot this point when x is 4 y is 2 so we're just going to drag it when x is 4 this is point 4 here y is 2 so from 4 let's move two places up this is 1 and 2 so this is the point this point here is where x is 4 and y is 2 any point in a coordinate plane represents a pair of two values so it represents a point of intersection where the x axis a value on the x-axis meets a value on the y-axis. So that point is a point of intersection. That is why a point on a coordinate plane represents the value of two pairs. One is the x-coordinate, the horizontal. Another one is the y-coordinate, the vertical. They all meet together to, call, to, to form a point in the coordinate plane. Okay. So we are going to plot these solutions now. Okay. When s is 2, y is 1 is here. Okay, when x is 2, y is 1, is this point. And when x is when x is 6, y is 3. When x is 6 here, y is 3, is this point here. Okay, All right, that's this. Correct. So we can see the x and y values in the solution don't have to be, they don't have to be positive. So we can have negative values as well. So what happens? here when y is zero so when y is zero what happens the value of x is going to be what the value of x is going to be zero when y is zero the value of s is going to be zero okay mm -hmm. so an equation with two variables can have many solutions and we can plot them all in in the coordinate plane okay so as you can see from x from the negative you can keep going down when x is minus 3 y will be my when x is minus 6 y will be minus 3 when x is minus 4 y is minus 2 all down to when x is 0 y is 0 when x is 2 y is 1 when x is 4 y is 2 and when x is 6 y is 3 all of them give us what points on the coordinate plane and when we plot them to give us what we call a graph okay